love singing and dancing after a judge ruled that Philly was right and the feds were wrong. A sanctuary city. Yeah. <laughs> And what he was uh, celebrating was the fact that uh, a judge ruled that the federal government cannot cut off grants to Philadelphia over how the city deals with undocumented illegals. How do you think angel parents are watching that this morning? Watching that dance, watching mm -hmm. that celebration. Angel parents, of course, are those that have lost uh, a child from um, an illegal a criminal in this country, uh, and their right. life uh, will never be the same after that. But watching that mayor dance, I mean, right. you can imagine how upset that would make. And, and some say, well, law enforcement's happy because they want people here who are illegally who didn't commit crimes to be able to talk freely. Those people are not targeted by ICE. They don't, people aren't walking around picking up the streets because their papers aren't in order. It's those who violate the law that are the issue, and those people want to be protected. But now, the sanctuary cities is really two Americas in many cases. It's a great well, point. Yeah. With the fifty million dollars to fight. Clearly, to fight the violence, gang violence with MS 13, there are some Democrats who are wary of it. Uh, Congressman Luis uh, Gutierrez, he's a Democrat from Illinois, he said, quote, on a podcast, here's the strategy of Donald Trump. He beats up on Latinos and immigrants. It's really a political strategy for the fall 2018 elections, mm. right? I want to bring in Congressman Lou Barletta. He's a Republican. He's a candidate for the Senate in Pennsylvania. Okay, Pennsylvania. The mayor of Philadelphia posted this video. I'm about to show you. It shows him dancing after a federal judge issued a ruling in favor of Philadelphia's sanctuary city status. We know. Look at that. Uh, I'm sure you can see it, Congressman. What do you make of this? Dancing because Philly is now a, 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 a sanctuary, sanctuary city. Well, that's, that's really a sad uh, video to watch, especially for someone like me, Stuart, who was a mayor, uh, the first mayor in the country to, uh, to try to stop illegal immigration in my city. And I was sued for wanting to enforce federal laws. And now we have mayors actually dancing uh, because they are a sanctuary city. I don't think the family of the victims uh, in Philadelphia who uh, were victims of illegal immigrants uh, just recently. There was uh, one, uh, a little girl was raped. I don't think they're dancing as well. And, and uh, when, when you could thumb your nose at the federal uh, government and, and put your people at risk for it, uh, dancing would not be the first thing that I would think of doing. I've got an explanation for the dancing, and it is that the mayor thinks he just locked in the Hispanic vote. Am I way off base saying that? Oh, you're way off base in saying that. Listen, the city that I was mayor of was 50% Latino, and I won with 90% of the vote, and I was standing up for legal immigrants, legal, key word, legal immigrants. They get it. We are, we are, we are hurting the legal immigrants and, and people in cities like Philadelphia and all Americans when we become a sanctuary city and, and defy federal laws. And, and Stuart, let me say, that's going to be a big issue in this campaign, in this election, because uh, my opponent and I are on opposite ends when it comes to sanctuary cities. Okay. Dan, why don't I give you the last word on this one? The stuff that gets caught in the video today is incredible. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's very good. We had it on a loop, yeah. endlessly running the dance. The dance.